Hello everyone, Ollie here from Deeds Talk Cinema and after months we are back. Not just me, I've got Rusty here with me. Hello. And NerdTube. Hello people of the internet. So, um, as it's been so long, um, because the last review we did together was The Fall Guy, I know if some of you watched the Deadpool and Wolverine video, yes, all three of us were featured in the video. Not all three of us were together. So what had happened was, I'll just quickly go over it just now. Um, me and Rusty went to, to, I think it was day one, I think, Thursday, yeah, wasn't it? it? We went day one, and then because NerdTube had work, he couldn't make it, so he went a couple of days later. So we were all in that video, but not together. So it's been like five months since we last um, joined together. You okay? I'll put my fist on this, and it looks rusty. Uh, no point I got... <laughs> um, and now I've got bits on my hand It's right. disgusting So yeah, um, the film we're watching today You already know this by the title and the thumbnail But we'll say it anyway as we always do So today we are watching Venom The Last Dance Yes, so the third <laughs> and supposedly the final uh, film in the trilogy um, So I'm going to quickly go first in terms of our before thoughts um, I haven't rewatched them in preparation for, for this film uh, They weren't on Netflix, which is a shame However, they were on Channel 4, which is a British um, It's a TV channel, but it's also an app you can download and you can stream it But the issue is there's ads, so I have an issue with ads personally I just think it ruins the experience when it just interrupts, but that's just me So I didn't end up rewatching them on there I just I was going to watch a recap video, but I didn't have time But hopefully, because we have a lot of time left, I might watch it because it's only 13 minute video so we'll see but um the first film for what i remember yeah. see this is why i wanted to rewatch it because i don't want to i remember thinking it was it was okay um i mean out of the two films and hopefully this one as well i think the best part of these films is venom and eddie they're like dynamic between the two that, that's that's the best part and also some of the action sequences but the stories all right, they're okay. Um, so the first one I thought was okay. Villain was. I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just I didn't like the. Again, I can't really say too much because I, I, want, I wanted to rewatch them, but I couldn't. So I can't really say. But I just remember not liking it. That's that's what I'll say. Well, I'm going to quickly go on to Rusty in case he forgets what he has to say. So it's about the villain or the first one. Yeah. The villain from the first Venom film reminds me of the villain from Madame Web. <laughs> okay, I can't really say too much because it's, um, yeah, except he doesn't have ADR the whole time. So, yeah, the first one's okay. Second one I watched in the cinema. I didn't watch the first one, the first Venom film in the cinema. I think I watched it before watching Let There Be Carnage, which is obviously the second film. Uh, I watched it with a few old friends um, at the time. And I think we had fun, but it was still okay. Um, again, can't say too much because it's been a while since I've watched it. So I, w I hadn't watched those films since when Let the Be Carnage came out, which was three years ago, 2021. That is crazy. So I remember that was like one of the first experiences back from the cinema after COVID. Um, but anyway, um, that's really my thoughts on the first two films and that's not much but again haven't rewatched them since but I just I'm just telling you my my quick experiences when I went to first watch the film so yeah um, I'm gonna pass it on to NerdTube now and let his thoughts go because he knows more about the two films now than I do um, and then obviously Rusty will know more as well but we'll get to him when it's his turn so yeah we're gonna pass it on to NerdTube and uh, he's gonna show his thoughts on the first two films and it, actually yeah, well actually, after we all talk about our experiences in the first two films, we'll talk about this new one together. Like what we think and what yeah. we're hoping for, what we want to do. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, pass on to NerdTube, share his thoughts on the first two, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, as in terms of these films, I do not have too much to say, because personally, I know Rusty is going to hate me for saying this, but I really didn't like the first one, I'm sorry. But from a storytelling perspective, I did, I just did not like it. I'm sorry. Because, I can't, I can't tell what's going on from the very beginning. I understand that, there's a, that he has a love interest in the very beginning of the story. It does explain to us that he's a journalist, which, okay, you're setting up something up. 
and then there's the opening in which the spaceship is crashing down to Earth. There's lots of symbiotes uh, set free. I can't tell if Null sent them. And in case you don't know who Null is, he's uh, the god of symbiotes in the Marvel comics. And fun fact, he's responsible for ripping another uh, Marvel character named Sentry in half, who is a, a powerful Marvel character. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. Basically, I just I just didn't really like the story of the first one. The dialogue felt like it was just improvised for me. Like Tom, it, I can see Tom Hardy had a lot of fun with the role, but uh, for me, I don't know. I just I just couldn't get that, get that well into it. And the villain, I'm pretty sure, like Rusty said, it was like the villain from Madam Web. Yeah, and it's like, like in Madam Web, it's like the lines like, I will not give up. And we have to go. And we uh, have to actually, go. actually, I got, I got the line, I got the line. In the future, they will try to destroy me. I came from nothing, less than nothing. I will not give up. But the, the villain in the, like in the first Venom film, is my same feelings on the villain from Adam Webb. Just boring, underdeveloped, and just boring. So, boring twice. Yeah, boring. <laughs> <laughs> now, Let There Be Carnage. Now, I will admit, I liked this one better than the first film. I've had a lot more fun. I thought the characters were fine. But Carnage, also known as... Uh, Got Cletus Cassidy or something? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure Cletus, Ca Cletus Cassidy. He was supposed to be this uh, crazy lunatic who take, who's taking control of the symbiote named Carnage, who apparently in the comics is the son of Venom, which they adapted into this film. And I thought that was fun. That That's a very fun like addition to the story. It doesn't feel forced and it doesn't feel boring for me. And I thought, uh, who was the actor who played Cletus? Um, Woody Harrelson. Woody yeah. Harrelson. I like Woody Harrelson. Mm. I think he's a great actor. I, he did. He did a fantastic job in this film, portraying Cletus with such passion. And believe it or not, Andy Serkis directed this film, which just, just uh, I just let found there out be, a few let, days let there ago. be carnage. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I found out a few days ago and it blew my mind because if we all know Andy Serkis played Gollum mm -hmm. and believe it or not he Caesar, directed Caesar he did, he yeah, he Caesar, did Caesar and, and yeah, go on. I believe the guy you talk about also from the trailers is voicing a character in this what no yeah yes I, I, I <laughs> sorry I'm not gonna go on too much but I was gonna say because you mentioned Andy Serkis um, he does I was I wasn't gonna say his name, but I was gonna say that there's someone in here <laughs> that directed the second one that takes place in this one. I think it was supposed to be like a secret and uh, then you watch it like, Oh it's Andy Circus. Uh, but then I found out I was oh okay. Well, I mean that's cool, but yeah, anyway. It's cool that you know Andy Circus because if it, if neither of you knew then it would have been alright, but I knew Andy Circus anyway, so yeah, back to Nerd Team. Yeah, and I, Andy Serkis is just, he's in my, in my favourite actor's uh, category because of his talent alone. And mm. I, I, I'm really hoping he plays Null. Because, like, if you know Snoke from the Star Wars sequel trilogy, uh, yeah. that's the kind of voice I want to hear from Null. Mm. I want to hear that deep, menacing type of voice that you can really feel a lot of dread from. But yeah, second one, I think it's better than uh, the first film, personally. So far, it's my favourite Venom film. I'm not that well... I don't personally love the Venom films, but I do think the second one is a lot of fun. I will say that. Now, in regards to the third one, I've heard some good things, I've heard some bad things. Yeah, let's I've, talk about that after Yeah, Rusty, because yeah, we'll discuss it all together. And yeah, because... Yeah. Now, a YouTuber I watch called Jester Bell, she does a lot of great videos. She's already uploaded a vid video about the film. I'm not going to watch it yet until I've watched this film. Then I can hear her opinions about this. And personally, I, I do like most of her opinions on that channel. But that's not the point. The point is, I am a bit worried, but also a bit excited for this film. Anyway, I'm going to try and be as positive about this as much. Uh, let's just hope this one regains my sanity from the last film I watched 
that video is going to be uploaded to my channel. I'm hoping it is today. Do you want to mention what it is? Joke, Joker 2. Yeah. And we have Spooderman on my shirt, and uh, Spooderman on his shirt, and yeah. Beanie Bidot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you not see it? No, they did not see uh, that. I forgot to say. <laughs> right, I'll take a picture when I get home and you'll see it there. Yeah, we'll pass it on to Rusty, share his thoughts on the first two films, and then again, we'll discuss the third film together uh, once he's done. So, yeah, pass it on to Rusty. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> um, first one. So, obviously, I watched these last night. I watched it on Channel 4. For the uh, first time? Yeah, for the first time. Um, I actually remember when this film came out because I remember people talking that it was an 18 and then somehow one of my friends went I was like you're not 18 you're like 12 <laughs> um, but uh turns out it's a 15 and they just lied about their age anyway but yeah, so I remember it coming out um, I've seen obviously clips throughout the years and it's always looked funny it's always looked interesting to me but I never got around to watching it even though it was on Netflix I was like oh maybe I should <sighs> no point there and then obviously when I think oh third one's coming I'm gonna go watch it check Netflix oh of course it's bloody gone so, Channel 4. Um, and yes, there were adverts, which, yes, I can understand, takes away from the experience. You know, it's like you're watching a film on, like, TV. It's like, oh, Jurassic Park, let's watch... They cut out a little bit. I'm just like, but that was my favourite bit. Why'd you cut it out? Um, but I watched Venom. Um, the adverts... I clicked them. One of them was five minutes long. I thought, what? Yeah. you got to be joking. Anyway, um, the first one um, on my thing in Jiggy... I gave Instagram, it, Instagram story. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, so I'll try and recap that. I think it was a fun film. Uh, obviously I do have my complaints with it, which I'm not trying to actually explain. I feel I feel like the film could have benefited from an extra 5, 10, 20 minutes. Because there's a few scenes where I thought, oh that's nice. Oh, we're on the next scene already. Okay, that was But yeah, no, there's um oh yeah, the villain as well. Um he felt just like your standard I'm rich, I can do whatever I want. Blah, 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 it's a boring. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it was a bit boring, um, and I thought the I, I had something about the villain. Ah, uh, it's God. Nah. No, that's it. You know, sometimes you want to have a villain where you can like something about them. There was nothing likable. That it. it's just boring. That's it. But I think the rest of the film was funny, as you said. The dynamic between Eddie and Venom mm. is is great. I think that's when the film shine absolutely the best. Um, so yeah. I, 7 out of 10 I thought it was funny yeah that's it just a good film yeah. anyway Let There Be Carnage now I heard from a post that you sent to the group chat from the Rotten Tomato score that Let There Be Carnage was more liked out of the films I thought it was alright <laughs> right, um, oh, oh, I have got a little tiny bit of a cold Cletus Cassidy obviously we get a teaser for him in, in the first film He's got really puffy hair, and then the next one he's got really short hair. Um, again, it's got some great moments with Eddie and Venom, absolutely. Then, a bit that I didn't like about the film, and it's kind of there for the majority of the film, it's like this Edom, Edom? Eddie versus Venom like thing, where they start fighting each other, which I mean, yeah, it's cool to watch, funny, but then it's just kind of like this pointless story where in the first one, you know, by the end of it, they're like, yeah, work together, you know, they're symbiotic, as they yeah. say. Um, you know, like they're together, and then the second one is like, I hate you, I hate you too, and then, then they split off. And then, for half of the film, Eddie's not doing anything, and Venom's in a bloody disco going, and I just thought, Great, you just wasted half of the film, which you could have used for some great scenes with Eddie and Venom. So, I feel like a missed opportunity, mm. and also again, didn't like it. Um, the Screamy Girl, I forget her name. I think her name's uh, Sh Shriek. Didn't like her whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, no. Uh, they had like this, oh, oh yeah, I wonder if that's good. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, so obviously Cletus wants to get to um, get to the lady. Because um, she's like, my one true love. <laughs> anyway, it's like a weird villain love story. Anyway, I... <laughs> Trying the recycling thing, you melon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, and the the way Carnage gets becomes into being is Cletus bites. <coughs> <coughs> 
my daddy, and obviously the blood of um, Venom is still in Eddie, and then Peter's throat. Um, and then Carnage comes out of him. Yeah. Odd. Yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, I, I, for some reason, felt really bad for Cletus at the end because I just wanted a friend. <laughs> and then it was meant to watch for this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and anyway, the screaming lady, she dies to a big bell dropping on her butt. There's a little side plot which I have to talk about because there's a weird tease in it. So, there's this police officer that shot the girl years ago. His game's like P, P something. But he's a police officer. Anyway, and the police officer and the lady have a fight on like scaffolding. Also, there's a bunch of like references to Spider Man 3 right. and Amazing Spider Man 2. Um, but anyway, and you think he's dead. But as he's lying there with the chain around his neck, you know, dead, and he's like near the end of the film when everything's kind of over, his eyes glow blue and he says, Monsters. And I thought, huh, that better get explained. That they're better. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I did hear it from Doom Blazer, I think. It, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that he was supposed to be Toxin. Toxin. I don't, it's supposed to be another symbiote. I don't well, know. we'll find out if anything happens, comes of that in, in the next Yeah. One. Anyway, happy ever after. Bam's all back together. They go on to a beach in Hawaii or something. And then, um, and it's just like, my memory is great. Test me on all the knowledge of the symbiotes. And, like, oh, man. and then obviously everything goes because of Doctor Strange's spell. And then on the telly, you hear J. Jonah Jameson. And I was just like, whoa. And then obviously it's Spider Man. And then Venom just like, Whoa. and then he licks the screen. It's like, yeah. him. I thought, oh. And then I was like, oh, wait, we're in the future. Guess what? He's in the film at the post credit scenes of No Way Home. And then he disappears again. I thought, wow. What a wasted opportunity. Yeah, I, I thought. Just, I, yeah, when I first saw that, I just didn't see what the point of that was. At first, I thought, that's great. He's going to be in No Way Home, you know, Sinister Six. Yeah. But we only get the yeah, Sinister he could have been. He could have been in the Sinister Six. Like, Tom Holland's Spider-Man was trying to cure the other villains. I just didn't understand why he just didn't, like, sure. meet and confront Eddie Brock in that film. What so fucking ever? And... You know what, I'm, this is going to be another video. I, I just came up for another video on No Way Home for future. <laughs> Carry on. No Way Home still, phenomenal film. And yeah, Eddie Brock is in it, in the first credit scene. <laughs> um, it's just like, oh, there's a purple alien. <laughs> anyway, Eddie Brock gets sent back to the Sony universe. Um, but a little piece of the symbiote is left in that bar in Hawaii. Yeah. Where it is. But, and we know from the trailer for this one, something to do with that bar. But it... it Okay. Oh, no, is that is that sorry it, confusing again? We'll have to find out. But um, I think that's it. Um, first one seven out of ten. Second one six out of ten. They did some good, but I think the second one was just a little bit blander. In my opinion. Okay. Um, but yeah, so looking forward to Venom three. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so um, now we've discussed our before thoughts. Uh, I don't that's really know before. what else to really say. Like, well, other than our initial thoughts on uh, The Last Dance. I've seen the first two trailers um, that came out, an official trailer and a final trailer. I tried to avoid most of the trailers, but I know it's like bits of it because I can't skip them half of the time. Yeah. So, I know bits. I think they've <laughs> shown them in the cinema at some points when we were there. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. What about you? Have you watched any of the trailers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw most of them in the cinema by now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm hoping for the best, like, I'm gonna leave aside Morbius and Madame Web because they're not Venom films, they're just, yeah. Um, I mean the first two, I mean Venom and um, Eddie are the best parts of those films, even though I think personally they're both, a bit, they're okay, they're not, I mean, they're not great films, but they're fun films, I will say that. Um, all I'm hoping is for the same really, like, I mean if it's a better story then great. However, I'm not hearing that, but I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to ruin any of these guys' experiences. But yeah, I'm just hoping that it's at least going to be a fun time and, you know, or maybe we would even laugh for how bad it is. I don't know. I hope not. But that, that's all I'm at least hoping for. But I'm hoping it's going to be fun. Some good characters, maybe. Some good story. 
that might link up to the first two, but even though I don't really remember the first two, um, I'll just watch it for what it is. So, yeah, um, excited, not excited, nervous. For... I'm looking forward to it, um, but with how the previous two films have gone, as in like, ooh, that's a promise we're never going to get, get, you know, for example, uh, they were hoping to get Spider-Man and Venom together, but haven't yeah. quite. Yeah, but not going to get that, which Should sucks, but I want to see how this ends, because there are two post-credit scenes. Right. I want there to be some sort of Spider-Man reference, like maybe not a reference, but like, yeah. what universe are you actually in? Yeah. Um, so are you, more excited or, are you more excited or nervous? I think I've got the excitement, but I am a little nervous on how this will end, because this is supposed to be the final, the the final, final one. Yeah. yeah, so just let me know what universe you're in, please. Tom Holland, Tom. Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, which one? I think it'd be really nice if it was Andrew Garfield because in nowhere home he yeah, says, you guys fought Navy and I have. Yeah, yeah. That would be great. Now to be more excited or nervous for this film? I think I'm on the same level as Rusty here. And personally, I'm really hoping this is set in the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man universe mm. because personally, I just want to see a third Amazing Spider-Man film. I just want the story finished. Yeah. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, so... Yeah, um, again, I've just said that I, I'm hoping for the best. I just, I'm hoping we have fun. I'm sure we will, because mm. it's Venom, uh, I'm I mean, hoping at least Venom a... and Eddie are the best parts of the film, and I'm, sh I'm assuring yeah. that is. I'm pretty sure they are, because, yeah. I mean, these are Venom films. They are going to have, have yeah. humour. You're, you're not going to get um, Citizen Kane, you're just going to get some really fun Marvel, schlocky, fun stuff. And some people don't like it, some people do. I think we all like them, so, yeah. 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 Well, I, I, am right. I am mainly here so we can catch up, but Venom was fun, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it was just I fun. I feel like that's what we're going to say when we come out. Venom was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think we're just going to grab something to eat uh, before we go in. Um, maybe discuss it off camera, the film, maybe we'll see. Yeah. One last thing. One last thing. One last thing. Look at the bin. We got Biff, the taste bomb. It is a sad day. Mm. Venom probably ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, now that we've discussed our thoughts, um, Rusty, do you want to say it? Roll the preview! Eddie, the time has come. He will kill us all. There will be nothing left. We may not make it out of this alive, buddy. I'm with you to the end. Venom The Last Dance. Ready PG-13. Tickets on sale now. Andy Circus is no. Thank you. Are you okay? Right, we're just gonna wait for Rusty because he's gone to the, the toilet. toilet. Yeah, right, toilet. and then we'll do this. We'll do Rusty's view first, and then we'll do mine. All right, so we are out, and um, Rusty's gonna go first, and then Nerdy because they need to take the bosses home. So Rusty's gonna go first, then Nerdy's gonna go next, and then I'll go last. It's fine because I don't have a whole lot to say personally, mainly because out of the cinema, I, I just, you know. Everything needs to sink in for me, so Rushy's gonna go first, so uh, go. Alright, so I'll try and keep this short, we've got low power on the camera and obviously time constraints, and plus you want a quick easy review. Um, first off, positive. It, it, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think story-wise, I think it's the best one out of the trilogy. Right. Um, uh, action's just as great. Uh, uh, there's a military character, which I really liked, he was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, post credit scenes are interesting there was one well I thought what was the point in that you know because you're not coming back anyway because <laughs> anyway what I'm trying to say is that the Venom trilogy is a complete trilogy you got a beginning you got a middle and you have an actual end like there is no hint to like <laughs> spoilers just so you know uh, make sure you put spoiler warning somewhere um, Venom dies <laughs> Uh, and I and I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be like some sort of film tactic where they'll have like a little hint, like, oh, maybe Venom's still alive. No, he's gone. And I thought that last bit with the song Memories playing, I thought that was very like, oh, 
kind of thing, especially when it looks at Statue of Liberty. Um, but I have mostly positives for this film. Um, there are a few bit odd oddities. I just thought that was a bit weird. But overall, I think it's good. If I went scene by scene, I'm not going to have enough time. Um, but just know it's a fun film. And if I gave the first one a seven, second one a six, I'd give this one an eight. I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And the fact that it actually ended, you know, the story of Eddie Brock and Venom actually ends. Complete. It's a complete story. You can watch it. Yeah, great. This is good. Yeah. Is it the best film I've ever seen? No. Is it better than No Way Home? No. But I do like how it started off in the MCU. Yeah, because of the... Uh... Yeah. Um, yeah. Good film. Good film. Uh, I think that's... Any, anything else? Do you have any negatives? Because um, he said there were some, like, stuffy oh, yeah. a bit, like... Um, I think the negatives... Yeah, the science lady, I thought her side plot was a bit stupid. I Again, I think it was... It made no sense uh, other than to save a character at the end, which I mean, she was pretty cool. The character that she saved, I liked her. She had a little Christmas badge, and oh, she yeah. didn't. She, she didn't have much screen time, but we saw she venom again <laughs> because of her. But um, yeah, I, I think mostly it's a positive film, uh, and I'm because from like the reviews I've seen online, it's either you like this film or you don't. Yeah, so it's all over the place. But uh, in terms of cinema, but uh, for the film, yeah, uh, positives. That's eight out of ten. Uh, yeah, go, go watch it if you can. It's just a fun film. Watch it with friends. Yeah. So I think I think that's it for me. Pass it over to Mitch. All right. Now, in in terms of, uh, I don't have too many thoughts about this film, but I thought it was fun. Like the like the film previously. After characters, I couldn't remember the names off. I know that the family. Well, to be honest, in my personal opinion, in terms of plots, I think this just feels like another, like a road trip film. But in, but the dialogue for me feels a bit cheesy and a bit irritating. Like some of the things the character says feels like that 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 what no one would say that. Why would you say that to someone? Counterpoint, really quickly. You think why would they say that? Counterpoint, they're American. No, I, I know they're American, but I'm just like in terms they of dialogue. They would say that. Though. That's why. That, that's why. Especially the ones that you, you. I know which ones you're talking about. The the, the family in the in the van, right? Mm. Yeah, I know people like that, and okay. they've been in many other films. Characters like that. Uh, hey, pardon me. Hi. Sure hate to bug you fellas, but I'm trying to get the fam up to the zoo and I'm a lost as all heck. Yeah, fuck off, real life Flanders. Oh, I don't mean all Americans, because, you know, there are some nice Americans, but you get my point. Yeah, I know that. Anyways, uh, story, it feels okay, it's not bad, and dialogue, didn't love it, thought it was okay. Now, Venom and Eddie, of course, they were the best part of the film. The film was fun. There were some moments, I, there were a couple times where I did laugh, and there were a few others where I didn't. Uh, I thought the, the, the character Noel, yeah, he actually felt quite intimidating. And the fact that Andy Serkis is actually voicing Noel, I think that really cheered me up in the film. And the military guy, I can't remember his name, I do remember he played Baron Mordo in the MCU. Uh, wasted character, by the way. Go on. That character that you're talking about, I thought maybe they could link it, like, oh, he's because obviously, you know, he's the thing, so I thought, oh, maybe it's the same guy. No, he blows up anyway. No. But that character might come back. Mm. Never know. Anyways, uh, uh, the, the, the actor who played the, the military guy, yeah, he did a good job. And uh, Tom Hardy clearly s showed he had a lot of fun. And yeah, what you mentioned, uh, Rusty, about that woman with the... The, the wound on her arm. Oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. lightning scar. Mm. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I didn't really I think I didn't really see the point of her being in the film yeah. other than the fact to give off exposition. And it's the same with Toxin, the green symbiote. I thought he would have had a much more bigger role in the film, honestly. Instead they just like <laughs> Yeah, it's, instead they like killed him off early and to me that felt really disappointing. Because like in the, f the second Venom film the police officer dude, I can't remember his name, like most other characters Teddy, in these films. I think Teddy. 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 That was his nickname, I know. Okay, we'll call him Teddy. <laughs> uh, Teddy, 
from the second Venom film. I had a lot of expectations for him, but then they fell flat as soon as he just, like, spent most of his screen time be on a glass cell and just killed off. I agree. I agree, yeah, I, wasted. Yeah, it feels like he was just there to give off exposition, like most of this film, for me. But, like, I feel like there's a lot more negatives for me than there are good. But I'm not saying this is a bad film. Is this better than No Way Home? Absolutely not. <laughs> is this better than uh, Let There Be Carnage for me? No. Not really. I still enjoy Carnage. And Tom Hardy and Venom. <laughs> Eddie Brock and Venom. <laughs> Best part of the film. What about uh, Mrs. Chen? <laughs> sorry? Mrs. Chen. Mrs. Chen. Oh, Mrs. Chen. I yeah. thought he said Mrs. Chen. <laughs> Mrs. Chen. Yep. To, to be honest, I thought uh, I thought she was just fine. I guess she just exists at that scene to have a little dance off to like to appreciate the title. And yeah, I think I liked the part where she mentioned the title of the film, just one last dance. <laughs> I thought that was uh, pretty cool. But overall, this film's not awful, but it's not too good for me either. Was it better than Aquaman and Madam Web? Okay, yes it was. Okay. I will admit that. That's good then. <laughs> uh, I will give this film a 4 or 5 out of 10. I will. That seems a bit harsh. <laughs> hey, it's not harsh. It's better than Madam Web and Aquaman, like I said. Alright, okay. okay. I mean, that's better yeah. enough anyway. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I really appreciate watching it with you guys. I, I'm glad we got to do this together. Yeah. I'm r I'm really hoping like the next review we do will be together again. Probably yeah. Gladiator if we can. Yeah, yeah I'm, Gladiator. I'm really, I'm really hoping because I love the first one. But thank you all. Sayonara. All right, guys. It is just me now. Uh, Rusty and uh, Nerdtube has just gone off to catch their bus. Probably the wrong place to uh, record this because there's a like a fan or event that's going off. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm leaning against this bin just so that I don't have to stand up and use my arms. But anyway, um, again, like I said just before, I gave it to them uh, for their thoughts. I don't have many thoughts. Um, I will say this: um, there were definitely some fun moments. Um, yeah, some good stuff, uh, some meh stuff, um, I found some of the humour a bit much personally, but then that's just me though, that's just my taste in humour, if that makes sense, um, yeah, um, again, like the other two, I think Eddie and, um, Venom are the best parts of the film, um, like they have a great dynamic, and yes, as he had said, as uh, Rusty said earlier, Venom does die, and I'm surprised they had the balls to do that, to be honest, because you know what people like. It's like at the end, oh, they die, and then they kind of like, oh, oh, they did, but no, they actually did close off the story, which is pretty damn good of them, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's great that they closed it out in a good way, um, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, what else do I need to say? Um, I don't know. I, I, I said that I didn't have much thoughts. Um, right, what would I give this? Um, I don't know. It's not going to be high. Cause I don't know what I gave the first two films. I can't remember and I can't be bothered to go check. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. So, yeah, that's my rating. Um, some good moments, some eh moments in the film. Now, if you really like the, the first two Venom films, I think you'll really like it. Um, if you're not a fan, if you don't like the humour and etc, then I'd say there's no point in watching it. But if you're, if you're at least morbidly curious about the story and how it'll end, go ahead, why not? Um, yeah, I'm just really glad that I managed to catch up with these guys and uh, managed to do another video with them because, again, it's been five months since we last catched up, which is crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I came today, even though the film may have not, you know, 
uh, been great but I'm really glad that I managed to you know experience the film with them because you know seeing their reactions and you know just being there with them was just great so yeah so again even though the film wasn't brilliant uh, nor awful I'm still glad that I went with the uh, Rusty and Ertube so um, yeah um, I thought no it's no isn't it the, the villain he plays but he's played by Angie Circus uh, which is cool was, do I wish he was in a bit more? I mean, even though I don't really know much about the comics, um, it would have been interesting to see if he was in there more. Obviously, they only revealed him in the um, mid credit scene. Um, he was kind of in the shadows in the film, but then in the mid credit scene, um, they do show his face a bit, for mostly. Um, so, yeah, um, I can't really say too much else because my battery is about to die on my camera, so <laughs> my mic's already died. So, usually when I come out and watch films, it takes me a little bit to kind of gather thoughts because I also need to watch other reviews to kind of give my full impression. Now, that sounds a bit weird, but that's just me. Um, I mean, overall, I had a fun time for the most part. Like, again, glad I came because I met up with these guys, and uh, yeah, I've already repeated myself, so I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, if you, if you like the first two Venom films, go watch it. I'm sure you'll have a good enough time, like the other two. Um, but again, if you're not, if you weren't a big fan of the first two, then... I personally say don't bother. Wait, wait till it comes out on Netflix or any streaming service that you have or that will come on. Or rent it at a for a low price, If you, again, if you're not a fan of them. Or if you're just morbidly curious about the story and everything else. Yeah, um, gonna end here guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment us your thoughts if you've watched Venom The Last Dance. And uh, let us know, um, yeah, let us know your thoughts. Positive, negative, mixed, your rating, etc. So yeah, uh, either I will see you or Rusty or Nerdtube will see you in the next video. Cheers.